Hey folks, welcome back to another First Impressions video with yours truly, Sam Healy. Now, all three of the games that uh, I'm going to talk about today are from Cosmos, because we just had uh, we just played a bunch of games on Tuesday for them, and I'm just going to give you my first impressions. I really want to get them to the table again before I settle on my opinion of the game, but these are just my first impressions, kind of to show you uh, another step, another cog in the machine, so to speak, of, of uh, what we do here at the Dice Tower, and that is we play a game, we have our initial impression, we play it again, try to play Play it as many times as we possibly can so that we can settle on our uh, opinion before we give the review. So uh, with that in mind, the first game that we played, and we actually did a live one of this one, and that is Tribes, uh, the Dawn of Humanity. Now this one has a pretty cool, um, you know, uh, early civilization vibe going on to it, but it's not heavy. It's very light. It's very simple to play. Uh, the mechanisms are all pretty streamlined as far as how everything works together. Together, and uh, there aren't a whole lot of questions to ask while you're playing the game. You just have to make right decisions, collect the right kinds of resources by having your people on the right kinds of lands. And uh, it flows very smoothly. And that's one of the things that I really enjoyed about it. It has some uh, familiar mechanisms in it as well. Uh, from small, wor uh, small World, you have where if you want to take a race combination that is uh, deeper than the one that's readily available, you have to place coins on it, points, uh, as a matter of fact. Uh, here, you're doing the same thing, but you're using clamshells. Uh, I'm not sure why they chose clamshells, but... It works. It fits. Uh, so uh, you have to do that. That was an interesting mechanism that I was familiar with. Uh, there is a, a leveling up kind of a tech tree type thing as you're aging your civilization uh, on. There's just a lot of really neat things that uh, work together when you level up the different uh, parts of your um, civilization. It's going to move you up further on tracks. The higher up you get on the tracks, the more points you get at the end of the game. I really did enjoy the game, uh, and I'm looking forward to playing it again. So, that was Tribes, the Dawn of Humanity. The second game that we played was a cooperative dice rolling game called Roll for Adventure. Now, Roll for Adventure is uh, scenario-based, kind of, because you have different goals that you're going for, I guess you could say. But you're generally trying to collect gems, a certain number of gems. We played the basic version, and that's going to be put up next week, I believe, sometime. Uh, but we played the basic version where you only have to collect five gems in order to defeat the game, but uh, it's really uh, it's a really interesting twist I guess you could say on that uh, Yahtzee dice rolling mechanism where you roll and you can keep some and then you can roll again and keep some and you can continue doing that until you don't have any dice left to roll or place so I like that mechanism of rolling and re-rolling because you you can kind of hedge your bets I guess you could say on what you're going to roll if you don't like this one right here then the characters that you play within the game all have a specific power or ability that they are able to do that nobody else can do. So that's another thing that I liked about the game is the variable player power. I also like the fact that it is cooperative too. So uh, a lot of different things converged on this game and uh, it, it has kind of a generic look to it, but don't let that fool you. It does have uh, some some meat on that the bones of the game, so to speak. No pun intended, you know, dice, bones, that, yeah. Anyway, uh, I, it has good artwork. Um, not great, as far as I'm concerned, but good. And uh, it did add to the thematic value of the game. But again, uh, the, the, the good part of the game is the mechanisms and, and how everything works together and the choices that you have to make. So uh, I really did like this and I'm hoping to get it back to the game table pretty soon, but uh, really did enjoy it. Uh, but that is Roll for Adventure. And then finally, the last game that we played, uh, Z and I took a crack at Imhotep the Duel. And uh, this is a two-player version of uh, the, the board game Imhotep. And it's pretty cool. Um, this is probably one of the ones that I like the most out of those games, just based on first impressions. Of course, I need to get it back to the table to really kind of settle on how I feel about the game, but uh, I enjoyed the, the back and forth nature of it and trying to guess where my opponent would want to go in order to carry out the, the strategy that he has for garnering points. Some of the uh, ways that you can get points seem a little stronger than others. 
but at the same time, it could have just been how the tiles came out on the boats uh, in our specific game that, that made it seem a little bit easier to get a lot of points over in the tombs than it was on the different pyramids uh, or, you know, building up your temple or what have you. So uh, I did enjoy the game a lot. I, I like that it's two player. I, I actually like this better than the board game because I wasn't too hot on the board game. Um, but this one, uh, gives you the same feel that the board game has, but it's uh, much more palatable, I guess you could say, in my opinion. And I really did enjoy this one. This is probably my favorite of the day, um, uh, with uh, Tribes being right behind that and then Roll for Adventure being in third. But I enjoyed all three of them a lot, and I'm really excited uh, to try and get all three of them back to the table. So that's that for uh, three uh, games and my first impressions of them. Uh, I, I enjoyed all three of them. I think these were great titles for Cosmos to put out. But um, again, we just really have to get them back to the table to see how much I enjoy these and uh, hopefully we'll be able to do that soon. So anyway, that's my first impressions on Tribes, Dawn of Humanity, Roll for Adventure, and Imhotep the Duel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys and gals on the flip side. Take care.